Last night, late last night, we got some real unfortunate news, y'all. This is just, it's heartbreaking. At 57 years old, my guy, our guy, Biz Marquis, from the Juice Crew, Cold Chilling Records, that imprint, he passed away. Let's remember Biz Marquis, because um, he was definitely a pioneer in the hip-hop game. Not only did he you know, do his rapping thing early in his career, but he also made that transition from rapper to he did a little bit of acting and also DJing as well. Rest in peace. Biz, he unfortunately has been battling some complications with diabetes for a little over a year now. I remember making a video uh, literally a year ago around the same time was when we found out that he was hospitalized due to his complications. He was 57 years old, very, very young. Uh, Biz Marquis was a legend. I mean, we all know him from his famous song, Just a Friend, but Biz was more than that song, Just a Friend. He was an influencer. He influenced many people in the hip hop community, such as LL Cool J and Fat Joe. Uh, when I found out about the news actually last night, I was on uh, Fat Joe, I was watching Fat Joe live. Man, fuck. Oh, uh, you know, when I was coming up, he stood by me no matter what. Um, he made me believe in myself when, when I didn't even believe in myself. Uh, you know, he fought for a whole year, and so he had diabetes, and then um, he had a stroke. And, uh, and he's been fighting to like rehabilitate. I've been checking up with his wife and uh, and he was getting better and out of nowhere, it just took a turn for the worse. Yeah, man, you know, it wasn't only Fat Joe, you know, everybody in the hip hop community got on Twitter, uh, Instagram to show their condolences. LL Cool J actually went live on Instagram last night and you could clearly see it was so visible that LL Cool J was all shook up about it. Yo, I just wanna say, uh, rest in power to Bismarck, my friend. Um, we had so many memories, man. You was in the basement of my grandmother's house when uh, I wrote Rock the Bells. Uh, used to always hang out. And, uh, back in the days and be running around on Queens and Long Island. And uh, I'm glad we got to do what we got to do towards the end, some of the things we got to do, man. Yeah. Love you, bro. Just most recently, LL Cool J and Biz started. They were working together on LL Cool J's radio station on Sirius XM, uh, Rock the Bells Radio. Biz Marquis had his own afternoon show uh, right before he, you know, got sick and you know ultimately succumbed to the complication with diabetes. So Biz and LL were they were pretty close. As you can see, LL was definitely uh, pretty torn up as well. The Vapors was one of my favorite songs. You know, the sax in the song and. You know, he was chilling on the yacht in the video. I remember watching this video on BET back in 1988, just like it was yesterday. You know, he was chilling on the boat on the yacht, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he had Big Daddy Kane in the video, the female in the bathing suit with the saxophone on the, on the chorus, you know, The Vapors was my favorite song. Now later on, Snoop Dogg remixed and redid that song, uh, The Vapors, a couple years later after that. Like maybe back, I think it was like maybe 96. So it was more than a couple years. It was almost a decade later. Uh, Snoop redid that song. Uh, Vapors, uh, Nobody Beats the Biz. I mean, just, just rhyming with the biz. I mean, countless, countless amounts of early hits on Cold Chillin' Records. So shout out to Biz Marquis. Uh, rest in heaven, you know, to Biz Marquis. Thank you for everything that you did for us in hip hop, for sure.